think the question of silence has to be approached, first of all, from the viewpoint of a 17th or 18th century man and the kind of classrooms that existed at that time. De La Salle's insistence that if the teacher speaks much, then the pupils speak a great deal, etc. But if you save the voice and you reserve the voice for privileged moments when you speak from the heart to the heart, then you're going to be better listened to. And it's interesting that we find this idea twice in La Salian heritage. For example, the idea of the reflection. The reflection is given daily. The reflection is something of about three minutes where the teacher speaks from the heart to the hearts of the pupils, to try and touch their hearts, that famous La Salian expression. I think modern pedagogy perhaps is rediscovering the importance of silence because classrooms shouldn't be about teachers teaching, they should be much more about pupils learning. <laughs>